captive tigers, second-class animals. European countries consider them less important than tigers born in the wild. Wild tigers are internationally protected thanks to conservation measures and laws prohibiting their trade. But captive tigers have no such protection. In the eyes of the law, captive tigers are not entitled to the same rights. Second class tigers. Throughout Europe, it's legal to commercially trade captive tigers. In 2019, Four Paws investigations found tigers are being traded across Europe in countries such as Lithuania, Malta, Spain, Germany and Austria. Young cubs are often taken from their mothers from a young age to tame them for work with tourists. In Lithuania, tiger traders offered to sell cubs with falsified papers, changing their age to be able to sell them sooner. Tigers traded in Europe often end up in circuses, substandard zoos and used as pets or as photo props. In France, 10 minutes with a tiger or lion costs 50 euros. Supervising staff are often untrained and uncertified. This lack of regulation and an increased demand for these experiences have led to a string of incidents that have endangered both tourists and the captive tigers forced to perform. Once a tiger's career in show business is over, that same tiger can be destroyed and dismembered for use in traditional medicine. In October 2019, 10 emaciated tigers were stopped in transit from Italy to Russia. Given their condition, authorities believe they were destined for export for traditional medicine. This exploitation occurs because of a lack of regulation across Europe, a trade that is ungoverned and out of control. Most people we asked thought this was wrong, but many have no idea this happens on our doorsteps in Europe. If you think all tigers deserve protections, sign our petition and together we can stop the ruthless trade affecting tigers today.